Mastering Korean Grammar Essentials for Foreign Learners Part 2 Building Blocks of Korean Sentences 안녕하세요. Everyone, welcome back to the Mastering Korean Grammar Essentials for Korean Learners series. I'm your Echo 59, and today we're diving into Part 2 Building Blocks of Korean Sentences. In this episode, we'll explore the fundamental elements of Korean sentences, which will serve as the foundation for your Korean language journey. Let's start with our first topic. 1. Korean Sentence Structure Korean sentences often follow the subject, object, verb, SOV word order. Korean sentence structure often follows the subject-object-verb SOV order. This means that the subject comes first, followed by the object, and finally the verb. For example, English, I eat kimchi. Korean, 저는 김치를 먹어요. 저는 김치를 먹어요. Notice how 저는 means I 김치를 means 김치 and 먹어요 means eat. This word order may be different from what you're used to. But don't worry. You'll get the hang of it with practice. 2. Noun markers. 은는 이가 을을. Noun markers are crucial in Korean to indicate the subject and object of a sentence. 은는 are used to mark the topic or subject of the sentence. 이가 mark the subject of a sentence. 을을 mark the subject of a sentence. For example, I eat kimchi. 저는 김치를 먹어요. The cat eats fish. 고양이가 생선을 먹어요. Noun markers help specify who or what is performing the action in. What is receiving the action in a sentence? 3. Basic sentence examples. Let's practice forming some basic Korean sentences using the SOV word order and noun markers. I drink coffee. 저는 커피를 마셔요. She reads books. 그녀는 책을 읽어요. We watch movies. 우리는 영화를 봐요. Great job! These basic sentence structures will be the building blocks for constructing more complex sentences in Korean. That wraps up Part 2 of Mastering Korean Grammar Essentials. In our next episode, we'll explore essential Korean pronouns and how to use them effectively in sentences. If you found this video helpful, Please like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. 다음에 뵙겠습니다. See you next time.